a jiggy. So, okay, today we're doing a soft border marble. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. The polishes for this one are from OPI's 2016 Soft Shades collection in their normal polish range. Now, the first one is It's in the Cloud. Now, I thought this was a white when I first saw it, but then I put it up against OPI's Alpine Snow, and you can see it's definitely. A beautiful luscious little cream it's really nice the next one is called this cost me a mint which is a lovely green and then one sh one chic chick <laughs> that one's mine obviously uh, the light blue is called it's a boy and then we've got the uh, really gorgeous little peachy color called stop it I'm blushing and then finally the lavender which is called I am what I amethyst I'm starting off by painting all of my nails with two to three coats of It's in the Cloud. Now, uh, this does not have the same consistency of OPI's Alpine Snow. It most definitely doesn't. I was a little bit disappointed with that. I thought it would be a much richer cream, but it's not. So you're going to have to do two to three thin coats just to get opacity. As you can see, I've already taped up my fingers using the washi tape. Now, I always use washi tape. I have tried liquid latex to protect the skin around my nails when water marbling, but I find it the most awkward thing, so I don't use that. Um, I always use tape. Now, the water that I'm using is, and always will be, tap water. I don't buy special water. I've talked about this numerous times. I don't think it's necessary to buy special water. I just fill up a two liter jug, and then I just sit it on my shelf and it comes to room temperature and it's fine to use so because I, I like I haven't done water marbling for ages I think it's like a whole month I haven't done water marbling for so I'm really excited to do this again and with these beautiful soft shades so to do this design I'm starting off with it's in the cloud which is that light light cream color and then one of the colors and then the light creamy color again so that creamy color goes in between each color and I'm going to do that twice so uh, you end up with um, at least two dots of each of the colors and then the, uh, the creamy color is in between each of those I hope that makes sense So once you've got your last drop in, that's then called the bullseye and that's from there you can create your uh, design. I'm using my water marble tool from Picture Polish and as you can see I'm doing some anchoring points when basically that means you go from the middle of the bullseye out to the very edge of the cup and then drag your tool along the edge of your cup and that anchors the polish there and it's not likely to move much from there and from that you can then start to create your design. Uh, now I could have put both nails in at the same time but I didn't I just didn't want to so uh, yeah that's the only reason I didn't do it and I wasn't really sure that I was going to get the exact design on both nails so that's why I didn't do that but yeah just put your nail in now get all of the polish on the surface off you can blow on the on the um, the water if you need to and then you just pull your finger out and you're done beautiful you've got your design and moving on to the next nail, we're going to repeat the process again. Now I know water marbling can be very frustrating sometimes, especially when you're starting out and practicing. I found it incredibly difficult. Um, I, I mean, I first saw, I, I saw my first water marble video and, I, and it looked so easy and I just thought, oh, that's going to be a snap. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it just didn't, it didn't work very well at all. So, but literally perseverance is the key testing out your polishes. No one can say for sure that one particular brand of polish is definitely going to work except for maybe um, Pipe Dream. And OPI has a reputation for being very good at water marbling, but not all uh, OPI polishes are going to water marble very well. And, you know, I, yeah, I think Pipe Dream polish is pretty much the only one where you can absolutely definitely say it's going to water marble beautifully. So it's trial and error. That's basically it. Oh, and please don't forget, perseverance is the key. Keep going, keep going, keep going until you get it done. That's literally the only advice I can really, except for, yes, temperature of your water does make a difference. If it's too warm or if it's too cold, I even tried to water marble in milk once because I thought, well, that's got to work. No, it didn't work at all. 
it didn't work at all. I was really surprised. I really did think it would work and I'd come across this fabulous no-fail um, milky water marble, but it didn't work. <laughs> so, yeah. But, I mean, just try it. Try and try and try and try. And it, eventually you will get it. It will work and you'll be so satisfied. It's so satisfying when it, when it finally does work. And just a final clean up using my Royal Majestic brush and my non acetone remover. And once all of that is done, you can go ahead and seal it all in with a good quality top coat. Of course, mine is always sesh feet, as per usual. And that's it for this one. I really hope you like it. I really love doing some more water marble for a change. I think I might do a few more this month. I think I, you know, I neglected it a little bit too much. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.